What Lu Sheng said left Bai dumbfounded, and he stood frozen momentarily before he managed to squeeze out a smile towards Lu Sheng. I appreciate it. A lot, he said. Lu Sheng casually waved his hand, telling him no need to thank him, since they were all from divine martial universities, seemingly oblivious to the sarcasm in Bai's tone. Either way, this made Bai less nervous and shortly after, Bai stepped into the arena. He was acutely aware of the strength difference between him and his opponent, but he wasn't ready to give up so easily. Taking a deep breath to calm his nerves, Bai knew that showing fear before the battle could hinder his progress in future martial path. The referee soon announced the start of the match, and the crowd erupted into cheers. The twin star let out a cold smirk while telling Bai that he wouldn't be giving Bai any chance to surrender. Enraged, Bai shouted and drew his long sword, unleashing his full strength as he charged towards him. Although Bai wasn't necessarily weak, it was clear that he was outclassed. The twin star merely smirked again and dodged his attack with a casual turn. But Bai didn't stop there. He spun his blade and instantly appeared above him. However, his subsequent attacks were all evaded, as if his opponent were toying with him. Standing confidently at the center of the arena, the twin star looked provocatively at Bai with a smile. Ever since the start of the match, he's kept his hand in his pocket. Bai quickly retreated a few steps, unable to believe that none of his attacks landed. The spectators were abuzz, amazed by the twin star's agility. Whatever technique it was, they suspected it to be close to the control realm. Bai knew he could no longer hold back. He was ready to give his all. This was his ace in the hole, previously used against Lu Sheng, though Lu had easily countered it. Bai doubted the twin star could do the same. With that thought, he raised his long sword, and snowflakes began to appear around him, gradually lowering the temperature of the entire arena. He then fiercely plunged his sword into the ground, instantly covering tens of meters in front with ice spikes. And for a moment, he thought he saw the twin star impaled. He then looked up, thinking he had succeeded, but he was wrong. Widening his eyes, he frantically searched for the twin star. Suddenly, he heard a mocking laugh followed by a voice taunting him for being stupid. Then, as if multiple figures appeared, or rather, the twin stars were moving so fast that he was leaving after images. With a small knife, he quickly slashed across Bai's body, his speed so swift that even the live broadcast cameras struggled to capture him. Bai screamed in pain and then was brutally kicked out of the arena, crashing into a wall with such force that he spat out a mouthful of blood as the wall crumbled behind him. With a dull groan, Bai passed out, his body slowly sliding down to the ground below the arena. Medical staff and doctors rushed to check on him. At the same time, several students from the Divine Marshall University also rushed to his side, finding countless broken ribs and not a single uninjured spot on his body. Students from Divine Marshall University hurriedly lifted him up, angrily glaring at the twin star on the platform. However, the twin star looked down from the arena with a grin, provocatively looking at them. He laughed, and then started mocking by as being worthless. The students stared back furiously and wanted to say something, but were too afraid. Lu Sheng, however, remained calm while quickly examining Bai's injuries. The twin star turned to Lu Sheng, pointing his fingers while telling him he was next. By then, Bai had regained consciousness, though in severe pain, he was not in life-threatening danger. Lu Sheng patted Bai on the shoulder with a smile, saying he had fought hard. However, Lu Sheng felt it was a pity. It would have been better if Bai's injuries had been more severe, so he would have had a reason to do the same to the twin stars. Bai was stunned again, unsure how to respond, not because of what Lu Sheng had said, but due to the intense aura Lu Sheng had suddenly emitted. It was an indescribable sensation, like that of a fierce beast ready to devour its prey at any moment. The competition quickly continued. In the second match, it was the Transcendent Martial School faced off against the Flame Dragon Martial School. The blue-haired girl from the earlier was matched with a burly martial artist, and soon they both took the stage. Before the match started, the girl closed her eyes, her energy flowing slowly throughout her body. Her opponent eyed the seemingly gentle girl skeptically, doubting how she had managed to get this far in the competition. When the referee announced the start, 
the girl suddenly opened her eyes, unleashing a powerful psychic energy that flew toward her opponent like a tangible hand. Initially stunned, the man quickly recovered and raised his fist, veins bulging as he launched a punch infused with internal energy at the girl's psychic force. The man, a body refinement practitioner, had refined every part of his body, so much so that his body was almost made out of steel. He delivered an incredibly powerful punch, but to his surprise, it was ineffective, as if his punch were being dissolved by the girl's psychic force. In the next moment, the girl's psychic energy morphed into a giant pair of hands that grasped him, causing him to feel as if all his bones were breaking and his body being crushed. He hastily surrendered, shouting out he was forfeiting. The referee immediately declared the girl the winner, and she released her opponent, exhaling a breath of turbid air. The referee gulped hard, taken aback by just how strong this seemingly innocent girl was. After her victory, the girl quickly walked off the stage. Liu Sheng watched the girl's retreating figure, estimating her psychic energy was to be at least fourth level. Her manifested psychic force was even capable of overpowering a peak sixth-level martial artist who focused on body refinement. He thought that her current level of psychic power was about 20% of his, which was commendable. Suddenly, the girl sensed something in the crowd and turned back, spotting Lu Sheng. She swiftly sprinted away, wanting to keep as much distance as possible from him. This reaction left Lu Sheng speechless. He didn't understand why the girl kept running away after seeing him. However, he was reminded of someone from almost a year ago during the prodigy training camp who also ran away upon seeing him. He wondered, was it because he looked too intimidating? Lu Sheng touched his face, lost in thought. Soon, the third match was about to begin, featuring the other twin star from the Ji Dao Martial School against Lu Sheng from the Seventh Divine Martial University. The crowd around the arena immediately stirred into excitement. Everyone's eyes swept back and forth between the two of them, eagerly anticipating the upcoming match. The broadcast cameramen were busy finding the best angles for close-up shots of the two. With a swift flip, Lu Sheng leaped onto the platform, and at the same time, his opponent jumped up as well. The twin star was the first to speak as he reiterated the rules of the martial arts tournament explaining that if one accidentally killed the other during the match, they would bear no responsibility under reasonable circumstances. He coldly looked at Lu Sheng and asked if he understood what he meant. Lu Sheng, however, looking bored, simply smiled back and replied casually that he was very much looking forward to the match. Sensing the growing tension, the referee quickly announced, The match begins! and then swiftly sprinted away towards the edgy of the arena, clearly not wanting to get between the two. Lu Sheng stretched his neck and did some light stretching, telling the twin star that if he didn't want to end up like last time, he should take his time to use whatever he had. Lu Sheng will wait, but warned that his patience was limited, and urged his opponent to give everything he got. Otherwise, Lu Sheng wouldn't give him a second chance. At these words, the twin star was furious, and his eyes twitched a few times before looking at Lu Sheng coldly. He took a deep breath, and a dark energy began to emanate from his body, the air current swirling around him and continuously converging towards him. The dark energy around him gradually grew denser. Lu Sheng, looking at the dark energy, felt the tournament was finally getting a bit more interesting. A fierce gust rattled the entire arena, as well as the spectator stands, drawing disbelief from the audience. Some among them recognized the martial technique being used. It was the infamous extreme demonic state. What happened next left the crowd even more shocked. A ferocious roar erupted. The twin star, his face twisted into a sinister grin, began to undergo a much more grotesque transformation. His body first swelled, then contorted, accompanied by the grating sound of cracking bones. Lastly, his skin turned purple, and the dark aura surrounding him intensified. Turned out, that this was the second stage of the extreme demonic state. The powerful current forced many to shield their eyes, including Lu Sheng, who raised his hand against the swirling dust, yet remained calm and steady as he awaited his opponent to finish what he was doing. Let's actually give the twin star a name. From now on, we will call the guy who is fighting Lu Sheng as Doug and the other guy Jack. Another surge of energy emanated from Doug as his body expanded, 
Two sharp horns sprouted from his head, and his mouth bore elongated fangs. His hair turned stark white as his body almost tripled in size, eliciting gasps from the onlookers. At the edge of the arena, the transcendent martial school disciples rose to their feet. They all had a mix of fear and surprise looks on their faces. Young disciples begin to question what kind of technique could possibly transform one with such overwhelming power, surpassing even that of grandmasters. An older disciple, his voice heavy and cold sweat trickling down his forehead, could hardly believe his eyes. He explained that in Ji Dao Martial School, there the twin stars, and the one on stage Doug was nicknamed the Demonic Star, notorious for sweeping the previous tournament two years ago when he only mastered the first stage of the extreme demonic state and was later recognized as the strongest under that of a grandmaster. Now, two years later, he had seemed to master the second stage. The older disciple couldn't fathom just how strong Doug really is now. Before the match, Lu Sheng had been the favorite, especially hearing how he humiliated Doug in the cafeteria the day prior. However, as Doug revealed the terrifying prowess of his extreme demonic state, people began to think otherwise. The blue-haired girl's eyes widened in astonishment as she too felt the overwhelming power emanating from the arena. However, what puzzled her was the nature of this power. It didn't seem to be Doug's own power, but rather as if something within him was desperately trying to break free. The thought of this sent a chill down her spine, and she began to wonder how eerily similar to the presence of a beast. At the 7th Divine Marshall University stand, everyone felt tense. The power displayed by Doug was beyond their expectations, causing Zhao to grip the fence in front of him tightly, worried for Lu Sheng's safety. Lu Sheng himself sensed something amiss as soon as his opponent began using this technique. Doug's strength had, seemingly, reached that of a grandmaster, quadrupling his original strength. Yet, the aura emitted was bizarrely peculiar, reminding Lu Sheng of a female assassin had seen just days prior, and information he had uncovered about mutated martial artists in a dream realm. Perhaps this was similar. Things just began to get more intriguing to him. With a smirk, he stood at the center of the arena, unfazed, as if everything was seemingly under his control. Meanwhile, the spectators from the Ji Dao Martial School watched with grins after seeing the second stage of the extreme demonic stage. Lian Jibei, with a knowing grin, remarked that everyone would soon understand what it meant to be Ji Dao. Jack standing beside him, his gaze occasionally drifting towards the transcendent martial school stands, and particularly fixing on the blue-haired girl while licking his lips. Since Doug was going to defeat Lu Sheng, he wanted to be a part of the spotlight too. Doug, who now looks exactly like his nickname, scoffed at Lu Sheng, telling him that it was too late to surrender. In the next moment, he plunged his hands into the ground. He looked like a beast eyeing its prey. Lu Sheng's expression remained calm, his hands nonchalantly tucked in his pockets, merely observing his opponent. To Doug, he thought Lu Sheng was just being scared, seemingly a perfect opportunity to avenge an earlier humiliation at a cafeteria. With a ferocious roar, he lunged towards Lu Sheng, his feet cracking the sturdy floor of the arena. Unleashing his full power, he threw a punch so powerful that it sounded as if thunder had struck the ground. At the Transcendence Martial School stand, every eye was glued to the arena. They were shocked by the sheer speed and power. The ferocious internal energy waves that burst forth made everyone involuntarily gulp. Great Grandmaster Jiang, while observing the fight, suddenly stood up, urgently cautioning the staff to be ready to act to prevent any potential casualties. In the midst of the tumult, a fierce shout echoed across the arena. I want you dead! Doug's eyes became red and glimmered with malice as he delivered a devastating punch directly at Lu Sheng. Spectators leaped to their feet, desperate to see what would happen next. The entire platform trembled, and Lian Jibei from the stand sneered, convinced Lu Sheng was for sure dead. However, as the dust settled, two figures slowly emerged, leaving the crowd in stunned silence. Lian Jibei stood incredulously as he and the disciples looked on in disbelief. At the center of the arena, Doug's hand played Lu Sheng's chest, but to everyone's surprise, Lu Sheng wasn't sent flying nor budged in the slightest. The muscular arm was firmly pressed against his chest. With a slight shake of his head, and looking quite disappointed, Lu Sheng muttered, Is that all? In the next moment, a powerful surge of energy exploded from his chest, forcibly repelling Doug's arm. Curiously, Lu Sheng inquired if he had a third stage, or perhaps a stronger technique. Doug was momentarily lost for words, 
As Lu Sheng's gaze bore into him, Doug instinctively stepped back. Lu Sheng then dusted his clothes. A terrifying aura began to seep from him, causing Doug to tremble as if he had seen something terrifying. Lu Sheng raised a hand slowly, his fist clenched. Seeing this, Doug knew he messed up, but it was too late. Lu Sheng now loomed above him. Following Lu Sheng's punch, an aura far more formidable than any before washed over the arena, causing a tremor more intense than the last. Lian Jibei jumped up, only to see Doug on both knees. The platform around him was completely shattered. His eyes rolled back, and his face was covered in blood and seemingly unconscious as the dark aura around him began to dissipate. Lian Jibei roared and launched himself from his seat towards Lu Sheng. At the same time, several figures from the other side also leaped up. Four of the vice principals from the Seventh Divine Martial University clashed palms with Lian Jibei, resulting in a tremendous sonic boom as their forces collided and then separated. Zhao removed his glasses and confronted Lian Jibei, demanding to know what he was up to. The atmosphere was thick with tension until a commanding shout broke the tension. It was Great Grandmaster Jiang, who stepped between the two, his expression grave, telling them they are all grandmasters here. They shouldn't be acting like this. Trying to target a youngster is embarrassing behavior. Lian Jibei's eyes were fixed on Lu Sheng with unhidden malice, cradling the injured Doug in his arms, accusing Lu Sheng of attempting murder, while saying how he tried to kill their very prodigy from the Ji Dao Martial School, pointing at Lu Sheng and saying he deserved to die. Lian Jibei didn't even check on Doug. Just as things looked more tense, a weak cough echoed from the wounded Doug. Turned out, he wasn't dead, but not in the greatest shape either. Medical personnel quickly stormed onto the scene, rushing to attend to him and carry him away for treatment. In the meantime, Lu Sheng sought refuge behind Zhao, acting as if he was scared while being shielded by the vice principals. Zhao, taking the lead, admonished Lian Jibei, pointing out that since his student was not dead, there was no reason for further hostility. Hearing this, let out a cold laugh and a lingering stare at Lu Sheng, Lian Jibei turned and walked away, while voicing another threat toward Lu Sheng. Not long after, Zhang took the microphone and announced the victory of Lu Sheng, representing the Seventh Divine Martial University. The crowd erupted into cheers, which continued for over ten minutes. Soon after, the spectators began to discuss what just happened. They were shocked to see that even the second stage of the extreme demonic state couldn't withstand a single punch from Lu Sheng. No way Lu Sheng isn't a grandmaster by now. One person humorously remarked that if Lu Sheng were a grandmaster, he wouldn't have hidden behind the vice principals. Although this was not the final match, the audience felt they already knew who the champion was. There was a general consensus that a new era was beginning, an era dominated by Lu Sheng, an era that belonged to the Demon King.